Good morning! Good morning mga kawaii stalkers! Tanong, tanong agad. Are you overwhelmed with a fear of contracting the COVID-19 virus? Or are you currently struggling with COVID right now and you are overwhelmed and you're experiencing anxiety? Good afternoon mga kawaii stalkers. Kung COVID anxious kayo or may kakilala, kaibigan, kasama sa bahay or kawaii stalker na COVID anxious or COVID positive, marami tayong matututunan sa episode natin ngayon ng Wai Stalk. Sabay-sabay tayong maging wais as we face difficult challenges, lalo na ang COVID. I'm Ronnie Gutierrez, ang inyong kawaii stalker. Hello, good afternoon, and I'm Edel Kutukova. Kumusta po kayo, mga kawaii stalkers? Isa na naman pong interesting talk ang inihanda namin para sa inyo. At samahan niyo po kami ngayong hapon, and let's hear from our wise speaker on how she overcame anxiety and physical discomfort and the life lessons she learned from having COVID-19 virus. But before we introduce her, para sa mga first-timers na nanonood ngayon, pag-usapan muna natin, what is wise talk? Sis Ronnie. Hi, this is Adele. Ang Wa is Talk is the webcast project of Hagai Forerunners. So basically, we get together and go live on Facebook and YouTube to talk hope and life and give inspiration, especially now that we are going through this pandemic. Yes, and uh, because our title is Wais Talk, we want to impart wisdom sa mga kawais talkers natin through our guests na mga wais, syempre. Marami po kayong matututunan, sigurado, so stick around. Sis Ronnie, how are you today? Sis Adele, I'm doing better. Katatapos pa lang ng COVID nightmare namin sa bahay, kaya very relieved, healthy, and grateful ang mental state ko ngayon. How about you, sis? Nako, si Ronnie, kami rin, we're awaiting for some schedule here at home. I think lahat na yata ng mga households ngayon, or families, no, are really um, experiencing the anxiety or fear or discomfort of having this virus around. Pero this afternoon, our speaker herself has experienced no, um, how it is to be a, a COVID-positive um how to be inflicted with this COVID virus, I'm sorry. So let me introduce, of course, um, our speaker. Marami na sa inyo nakakakilala sa kanya because she's also one of our speakers here at uh, hosts here at Wise Talk. Um, uh, Malu, or I would like to, I would like to introduce, of course, Miss Malu Chong Son Ortiz. But before that, Miss Malu is um, an interior designer by profession, ayan, a counselor, a co-host at God is Able Radio at FEBCDZA at 702. Of course, a best-selling author of, of five books, um, Embracing God's Purpose for My Child with Special Needs, Ikaw Na Ang Maganda, um, books one, two, three, and of course, the book Ang Legal ang diary ng legal wife. Ayan, let me call her Sister Malu Tuson Ortiz. Hi, Sis Malu! Hi, Ronnie! Hi, Edel! And good afternoon sa ating mga kawaii stalkers who are with us today. Thank you for joining us. Hi! Sis Edel, fire away! Let's start and let's learn more about the COVID journey. Kaya nga, feeling ko marami ikukwento sa atin si Sis Malu, kaya hindi na natin patatagalin pa. Sis Malu, of course, for our first question, no, can you tell us how did you contract the coronavirus? You know, um, the ECQ started in August, di ba? So I was talagang at home lang the whole time. And because we live in a, in a building, all my brothers and sisters, we just live in one building. No? So I felt safe na alam ko kasi lahat kami, we're just at home eh. So, lipat-lipat din kami ng mga units, di ba? Papalit-palit. And I, you know, I had lunch with them, I had dinner with them. And so, I didn't know that uh, one of my brother-in-law, uh, he would go out pala. No? Pero I, I always thought na, alam ko safe yan eh, kasi pag umalis yan talagang complete, naka-PPE, naka-hood, naka-sombrero, complete siya with mask and uh, face shield. No? So, I never felt na parang na you know na may danger or I, I always felt safe with my family members. But 
yun nga totoo nga yung sinasabi sa ano eh di ba um we we've been getting all of this mga uh, warnings di ba na not to even meet up with family members di ba uh, matigas ang ulo eh. <laughs> um, let's not take it pala for granted no totoo pala it's um, it's really safer and if you're gonna meet up with anyone pala dapat uh, wag yung kakain I, I think my mistake was nakikain ako eh, no so when you eat diyan na tat pagtanggal na ng ating uh, mask and face shield that's when you contract the virus no but I, I, I believe siguro if I, I did not eat with them, baka I would have been protected. So that's how I got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you, Sis Malu, for, for acknowledging no, where you might have been remiss in terms of being, ano, being very serious about preventing ngayong pagkain natin. Dapat talagang sana i-avoid natin. And when you took the test, Kasi you were feeling symptoms na. How did you feel the PCR test? Yeah, alam mo sa umpisa, parang, it, it, I, I think it happens to everyone. Yung parang in denial ka. You don't mm -hmm. want to take the test kaagad. Uh, you think lang na, wait muna, wait. Hindi pa ito yung symptoms. And, and honestly, you know, I didn't have the typical symptoms. I didn't have cough, cold, sore throat. Um, I didn't have a fever, no? It, my... Oxygen level was very consistent, 98 to 99 percent. No, so hindi ko talaga maisip na I have, but I have also I I've, I've been struggling with GERD and I've had it since last year. So yung symptoms ng GERD is kind of similar to COVID, kasi well it starts with an upper abdominal pain and then it goes up. Nag nagkakaroon ka ng chest pain which we call heartburn and then it goes up to the throat. No, tapos uh, yan na misan magkaka-headache na ako, yun, yun. Which I felt din naman last year, no? So sabi ko, this could just be good. Yan. In denial. Uh, but when my brother-in-law said that, uh, found out that, you know, he was posit COVID positive, doon ako nag-start mag-doubt. Mag so, um, my, my siblings pa nga were saying, di, hindi yan, hindi yan. Kasi yung wala kang fever, you don't have cold, you don't have cough, ganyan. So delay pa ng ano, delay pa ng one week yung PCR test ko. But when I, I felt na parang nag-escalate yung, you know, the symptoms that I was feeling, although it wasn't it wasn't like this, um, the typical COVID-19 symptoms. Uh, nag ano ko nag um, sabi ko nag-decide na ako mag-PCR test. Yon. So, so after a week and uh, I said, sabi ko, bahala na. Usually kasi I think people don't like to go through the PCR test anymore. Basta nandun yung symptom, parang you consider yourself already a COVID patient. Mm -hmm. But because nga mine was not typical, sabi ko, for peace of mind, di ba? At saka mahal din kasi yung PCR test, met me ako nagpapa-PCR, di ba? So, um, overnight pa yun. Alam mo yung suspense pa, di ba? Overnight pa siya. So the following day, you know that yung hoping ka na pag binuksan mo yung email mo, eh, negative siya, alam mo. Kaso once you open the, yung file, uh, naka-attach na file, di ba? Uh, Meron sa misigaw na pula. Kasi pala, uh, pag, pagka, ano pala, pag positive ka pala, naka-red siya. Mm. Yeah. So, I knew, kahit hindi ko pa siya basahin, the fact na lumabas na yung red na line doon, I, I knew already that I was positive. Pero isa po yung doubt ko rin, kasi for some uh, patients who had PCR, as in, naka-bold talaga, nakalagay positive. Yung sa akin, nakalagay lang um, RNA detected. Pero naka-red siya. So, mm -hmm. ayan pa rin ako, until now, I still have this, ano, did I really have COVID or not? Mm -hmm. So, what happened was, the moment, you know, before getting the PCR test, you, I mean, it's normal yata talaga to experience anxiety. I think the pinaka mas mahirap sa lahat yung do I have it or not? Meron ba ako o wala? Meron ba ako o wala? Yung yung mind mo talagang na ano ka ng fear, ng anxiety, ng worry. Um and it's really ano, it's real, you know, the the anxiety is real. Kasi I always think na hindi strong kasi I have a strong personality. I feel like you know, I I'm prayerful, you know, I love the Lord, you know, I trust the Lord, I claim Psalm 91, ganyan. Pero um, when you feel something in your body, 
talagang automatic yung uh, ang amo yung body mo yung anong ng anxiety kadoktong na no and minsan kadoktong pa ng anxiety is palpitations uh, yung chest pain no ang dami niyang kadoktong but when the PCR test came out you know ironically you know Ronnie and Edel baliktad i suddenly felt peace you know why kasi at least, alam ko na where to start. I think the hardest part, yung anxiety talaga, mas malakas when you are thinking of whether you have it or not. Mas malakas yun eh. And you, when you don't take the PCR test, you prolong. You prolong that tormenting thoughts, di ba? Kaya nga sabi ko, uh, ako, I, I would really recommend that if you are feeling the symptoms, take the PCR test. Kasi somehow it gives you... Um, parang nagkaroon ka ng parang kang nagkaroon ng ano parang um, closure na okay fine i have covid where do i start from here where do i start so when i found out tawag na ako sa pulmonologist ko puhan tawag na rin ako sa ibang doctors ko no because i had to i had problems also with my kidney so i called my nephro i called my gastro tatlong doctor siya so um, and of course syempre yung pati vitamins ko i already increased the intake so I, I, meron na akong steps na nagawa. So, I, I think, again, you know, if mga kawaii stalkers, if you have already the symptoms, it's really best to take the test kasi yung peace of mind na rin binabayaran mo dyan. <laughs> yeah, Edel and Ronnie. So, Ismalu, uh, I want to ask, kasi you were talking about kanina, no, na um, mas parang, you said na parang mas, gumaan yung pakiramdam mo when you have already received the result, no? Um, and you were telling na talagang inaatake ng fear, inaatake ng anxiety, even if we know that we have a relationship with the Lord, you're prayerful, things like that. We want to know, um, how were you able, or uh, how did you overcome those fear and anxieties that you were feeling Um would you like to share to our our um, viewers? Yeah. Well, siguro one of the anxieties, uh, the reason why I was experienced fear and anxiety was my daughter, my daughter Clarissa, who who has Down syndrome. Um, she slept with me that night. One one day, um, the following day, I found out my brother-in-law was um, COVID positive. So the day before, I was okay. Pero the following day, when I found out, immediately yung fear ko ay nag, ano na talaga, nag-escalate na because what if I have it? Because I know I had lunch with my brother-in-law. What if I already also contracted, you know, my, my daughter also got it from me. We slept together. I kissed her. I think we even drank in one glass, same glass. So, isa pa yun, grabe, grabe yun. What was really going on in my mind, I was um, already thinking of the worst, alam mo yun, yung, pero what I did, yung parang automatic reaction ko was to send her home. Kasi I, I'm separated, no? So, my uh, my daughter, I sent her back to her dad because I felt na baka safer siya doon. And I was thinking, if I get sick, I don't think I can take care of anybody, you know? I live alone, eh. So I sent her back and um, so another, uh, hindi naman ako, dahil hindi nga ako nagpa-PCR test right away, delay, delay pa. So those days that I was, way, uh, you know, weighing if I should take the PCR test or not, I was thinking of my daughter. Iniisip ko lagi siya na, paano, paano kumahawa siya? Ang dami ko nang iniisip, nakaka-overwhelm pala yun, ano, yung... I think mas mahirap pa for me ha, to think if you had um, parang na, 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 na contaminate yung ibang tao. Parang you feel responsible for that person. You know, kunyari let's say if I had, you know, went, if it started with me and then if I go to, let's say to my family, my children gets it from me, mas ma, ano pala yun, mas mabigat pala yun dalhin. So yun yung mga naisip ko, yan yung, yan yung fear ko at saka yung anxiety ko. Thank you for sharing that, Sis, sis Maluno. Um, tama po kayo, medyo parang mas 
mas na, mas ako rin yung ganun din yung iniisip ko kapag kunyari meron akong ubo o simpleng trangkaso before na parang paano pag nahawaan ko yung anak ko na mga kasama ko paminsan sa bedroom matulog things like that diba and hindi mo naman sila maiwasan hindi umakap sa iyo mas nakaka mas nakaka I, I would like to agree mas nakakatakot for us moms to think na tayo pa yung makakahawa sa mga anak natin but uh before I'll before I'll uh, ask Ronnie for her question to you. Uh, we would like to say hello to our um, viewers who are joining us right now. Ha- hello, Sister Rika. Um, Ryan Custodio is with us. Minerva De Leon. Hi, Mrs. Sister Maru. And we also have people watching in uh, Facebook. Um, we have Imelda Agtara, uh, Nympha Joseph. And we have some people in uh, YouTube as well who's joining us. I'm sorry if hindi ko makita ang inyong mga pangalan. And we have Jocelyn Rosario. We have uh, also Sis Virgie Tiong and Princess Mancelita. Ayan. And Sister Andy. Hi. So we would like to um, acknowledge yung mga nag-share ng hello, hearts, ayan. Bobby Soriano is in YouTube, ayan. Minerva De Leon, hello. So, Hi. if you have others who maybe could get encouraged with this talk, please share, no? Just um, click the like button and share the link to other people, ayan. Yeah. Sis Ronnie? Yeah, yeah. Sis, yeah. yeah, before you ask the next question, uh, I'd like to add lang, no? Uh, isa pa pala sa nakadagdag sa yung sa worry ko no is um I, I don't know which is better because I live alone so pumapasok din pala yung yung um lungkot I don't know if I was depressed but you know there's self pity parang feeling mo kawawa ka naman nag-iisa ka and nobody this is the kind of sickness that nobody can take care of you eh di ba so I think that's very hard um that I don't see people. I only see people through the screen. And that was very tormenting also, no? Kasi dati, I mean, I live alone, but there are days my daughter is with me. So there's always this parang um, excited ka na, oh, next week I'll see my daughter na. Pero for one month na I'm all alone, nakaka-add din yun sa anxiety. Yeah. Sobrang, sobrang nakaka-relate, Miss Malu, and I, I'm not surprised, but ang dami din nagka-heart react at nagla-like. Lahat ng kwinento nyo, and you described it so vividly. From the start, nung iniisip mo pa lang na meron ka, up to now, the recovery, it's so crippling. The virus is so crippling in all levels. no? But let me ask you lang, Miss Malu, why do you think God allowed you to go through all this, all this anguish, anxiety, did you ask that question? Uh, yes, I, I asked that question also. Because before that, diba, we always claim Psalm 91. Diba? Every every day, every day, I would recite Psalm 91. I would even try to memorize it. Diba? Parang, no harm will come near my tent. No? I will not fear the terror of the night. You know, um, I, 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 I say it even before I sleep. And then I ask God, Lord, why did you allow me naman to, to experience COVID? No, and oh well, the first thing that I know that entered my mind was I know, um, Second Corinthians, uh, one verse three to four. It says, Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. No, so I realized na um. This Second Corinthians one three to four is um, actually speaking to me. Na parang sabi ni God, no, I'm gonna use you. Um, trust that I'm gonna walk through. You know, in it says, diba in ano in Psalm twenty three, verse four, diba sabi, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So kalagay don walk through lang. So the Lord would constantly speak to me in my prayer. In you know, pag nakiga ako, sabi niya malu. I will walk through with you. you. Do not fear. I am with you. And so when I asked him, Bakit Lord, why did you allow me to go through this? Because I'm going to use you to comfort others in the same way I'm comforting you now. 
No? So, uh, yun nga yun yung parang goal ko. That's why I, you know, I, 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 I'm glad that, you know, we had this um, episode today. Uh, now, it's my turn now. Yung parang God is saying na, okay, ngayon, ikwento mo sa kanila how I took care of you, how I comforted you, how I was there walking through with you, no? And uh, how I gave you peace. You know, yun, yun yung ano, yun yung mga realizations ko. Wow, so very beautiful, Miss Malu, no? Parang you went through COVID not to be a reservoir of blessings but a channel of blessings to pass it on to others. I'm sure maraming makokomfort na sa episode na yeah. si Sidel. And I'm sure, I'm sure Ronnie, ano din eh, um, hindi lang yun eh. I think God also wants to strengthen our faith. For those, uh, maybe, um, mga kawais to, as you're watching, maybe you have COVID also, no? Um, perhaps for you, it's God is just, you know, wants your attention and just says, hey, minsan kasi baka we're just too busy. And yes, he's just yeah. telling us na, hey, uh, he wants to catch our attention. Eh. So he nudges us through COVID. Grabe naman, Lord, yung pag-nudge mo sa amin, COVID, <laughs> di ba? Talagang, I have tremors, di ba? I experience mga tremors. Oh, Lord, talaga sinishake mo ko para to, you know, um, to remind us na, uh, how have you been? Um, have you been so busy? Or are you worried? Or are you um, relying on God? Are you trusting in Him? Are you looking to Him for, I know, for your protection, for your provision, for your, um, for your healing, di ba? Yan yung ano natin eh. Nakakalimutan kasi natin na, mas, like for example, for prayers, di ba? And I could be guilty like sometimes eh, na, imbis na mag-turn kay God muna, kunyari may naramdaman, the text mo na sa friend, please pray for me, I'm not feeling well. Di ba? Parang sabi ni God, hello, pwede ka naman dumiretso sa akin, bakit ka pa dumadaan sa friend, di ba? So those were the realizations. No? The Lord would really speak to me and, and my, I think my time, my, my time with the Lord during these three weeks was, was sweeter, was more intimate, and naramdaman ko talaga yung pag-alaga niya. Alam mo, Edel and, and um, Ronnie, um, you know, the Lord will take care of us, diba? And I saw it, I experienced it myself. I always remember, I remember the story of Elijah, diba? When Elijah was sent away, sabi niya dun ka muna sa ano, beside the brook, you will have water to drink and I will send ravens to give you food, no? And that's how God took care of me. Unbelievable. I would receive food ev- almost every day. Almost every day. And sabi ko nga, to the point na ako na yung nagsasabi na, ah, pwede sa mga after three days na kasi punong-puno yung ref ko with food. And I remember, you know, God sending um, uh, hot cake. Di ba yung mainit pa na cake kay, kay Elijah, Elijah, no? Sabi ko, wow, Lord, ang dami mong pinaramdam sa akin dito. You gave me grace to overcome the, yeah. the pain, yung physical pain, the discomfort. And you gave me provisions. You gave me the food. Tagainit na lang ako. Hindi na ako kailangan magluto. And then, ang sasarapan, mga pinapadala sa aking pagkain. So I want to thank you for all those people who, who sent food. Grabe. And those were the things also that I learned now um, as I will now reach out to others. No, Very important pala yung prayers. You know, when... When people send me a prayer or they send me, um, um, you know, encouraging words, you know, they say, uh, you know, I'm praying for you, make, you know, uh, praying that you will be able to overcome, that you will recover. It helps so much. Sobrang ano kasi doon ko nararamdaman yung love ni God through the people who are texting me, sometimes even calling me or even sending food. So sabi ko, Lord, wow, ganyan ka pala mag-alaga. You use people to to ano to take care of me and so now that i know this i make it now um also intentionally to reach out to those who are sick no so i know a couple of friends who have uh covid also no so every day i rather i call them or text them and ask them how they are yeah so importante pala yon no so kung kayo po ay may kakilalang merong ano kung meron kayong kakilalang merong covid um, wag po yung, alam niyo po yung pinapadala lang na hand na ganyan, yung walang epekto po sa akin yan eh. Mas may effect sa akin talaga yung may words na sinasabi sa akin na, Malu, how are you? I hope you're you're feeling better. Ganyan. It really does help emotionally, you know, and 
it makes me really feel that God loves me through my friends. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, Sis Malu. I, I hope that our viewers were able to pick up also the same lessons that you have learned during this time that you were isolated. And I like what you have shared na yung kinishaken ka ni Lord. Or kinakalabit tayo at times ni Lord. And He would use that situation for us to have really that intimate time with Him. No? Yung gusto kanya lang salohin. So, mm. thank you for sharing that, Sis Malu. And we have a live question got, coming mm. from Sis Virgie Tiong. Um, Sis Malu sabi niya, living during this time of uncertainties, what will you advise to people who need to function outside the house due to necessities but has fears to unknowing the virus at the same in their house or house even if they strictly follow all safety and protocols? Yeah, I, you know, I think it's really unavoidable. No, sometimes you have to go out. No, hindi naman pwedeng maging ano ka na lang hermit ka na lang, uh, lagi ka na lang um, intimidated with fear. No, and I believe, you know, I really believe that um, the enemy. Of course, we have an enemy, si Satan, is the one really inflicting and um, intimidating us with fear. Kaya iyon ang talagang dapat labanan din natin. Dapat uh, may balance din, no? We are to follow protocols of the government, but at the same time, we are also to exercise our our faith. No, uh, hindi naman pwedeng kukulong ka na lang forever. Papano kung maghahanap buhay, di ba? Sometimes you have to go out. Eh. Papano kakakain? You have to go to the grocery. No? So whenever you go out, you really have to, um, you know, you have to pray. You have to, um, yeah, and recite mo yung Psalm 91. Exercise mo talaga yung faith mo sa Panginoon. No? And that's the only way to go it. Eh. I think, sabi nga nila, it's just really a matter of time when you're gonna get the COVID. Eh. It, it's really there, eh, no? But, um, you know, I was able to overcome that fear. And you can also, and really the only way to overcome that fear is to have that relationship with Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Ms. Malu. Magand- uh, napakagandang encouragement na yung reminder mo sa atin that um, for as long as we have Christ, we are all overcomers. And we can always claim healing, blessing, right? Answers, or, um, um, prayers that are, have been answered, no? And maganda rin na paalala sa atin when you said that hindi naman natin kailangan talaga maging hermit na, no? Because we have to exercise faith in this in this uh, unprecedented times, and we have to continue living. No, hindi naman hindi naman. I I know there are some people who parang kwento mo nga si Malu no na ang talaga namang minimit mo lang is yung mga relatives mo pero you still um, got infected. I know one person na sama 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 ng loob niya because isang beses lang siya lumabas during this month na nag-start yung ECQ last August, na-infect pa rin siya. So, hindi natin, hindi natin talaga alam kung um, kailan tayo sasabihan ni Lord na come, daughter, or child, let's talk. Mm-hmm. You know, when when the Lord wants to have that um, time with with us, talaga, gagamitin niya any situation. Mm-hmm. Um, Sis Ron, do you have a question? Yes. Miss Malu, gusto ko yung sinabi niyo na parang sa crisis, we will come to know who Christ is. Tsaka yung mga sinabi nyo, ang dami nagpadala sa inyo ng food. Ang sarap pala talaga mag-alaga ng Panginoon. He is our physician and our healer. So yun you know, lang. Sometimes, yeah, you know, Ronnie, I want to add lang, no? Sometimes yung food pa niyang papadala, it's the type of food that you don't uh, normally eat. You know, like, I mean, it's a no, it, parang it's so special. You know, I receive fruits that I don't normally eat. Alam mo yun, yung parang wow, ang sarap nitong fruit na ito. Alam mo yun, yung parang grabe ka Lord pag nag-alaga ka, ibang klase talaga. Wow. Sobrang naging na-blessed talaga kayo, Miss Malu. Para sa mga audience natin na nag-wonder kaya. Na, na, nasabi nyo na rin naman to eh, na sickness is, is used by God to be some sort of like a wake-up call or a megaphone. But people might also be asking, but ba nagkakasakit? But may pandemic na ganto? Is it because of sin? But ba tayo parusa ba to? Mm-hmm. Ano yung masasabi yung wisdom lang sa mga nag-iisip ng ganun? Yeah. Well, um, sickness, it, 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 dalawa yan eh. For some, it can be 
uh, a cause of sin, di ba? Meron namang, remember si Jesus, he was healing this um, this lame man. And after he healed him, he said, uh, now uh, go and sin no more. So we know that there are sickness that are caused by our sins, our disobedience. But there are also sickness naman, um, it's only because God is um, drawing you back to Him. He's calling your attention. He wants more of you. He wants to strengthen your faith. No? At saka may mga iba naman, it's because of our negligence also. Hindi nga siya sin, pero napabayaan mo ang sarili mo. Uh, maybe you were eating the wrong food. Uh, maybe, um, you know, it reached the point na uh, you don't care about yourself anymore. Nagiging obese ka na, kain ka na ng kain, and then when you get sick, parang you ask God, why? Eh, di ba we are to be good stewards of our bodies? No? So, tatlo yan eh. It could be sin, it could be negligence of our body, of, you know, how we take care of our body, and to draw us closer to Him and to strengthen our faith. Thank you for your answer, Ms. Malu. Uh, may different levels nga yan, no? So, hindi siya cookie cutter answer na no one, one size fits all and we should always draw to our creator who created our bodies to, to ask for guidance on how to journey through sickness. Miss Edel? Thank you, Sister Malu. Meron lang, ano, meron lang question, live question, very short. Tanong, Sis Malu, from Greystan, um, sabi niya, agree that the way we can over, uh, agree that the way we can overcome our fears is to have a personal relationship with Christ. And tanong daw po ng husband niya, Sis Malu, if you have been vaccinated. Hi, Grace. Yes, I, I got my vaccination about um, three or four months ago. Yeah, and it, it's a Pfizer. Dalawang ano na nga, dalawang shots na nga eh. And um, sabi nga nila, di ba, uh, even if you're vaccinated, you can still get the the virus but i believe you know because my my symptoms were so mild i never had i never lost my sense of taste or sense of smell hindi ako nakalagnat my oxygen level was consistent 98 to 99% no so ano nga eh in fact um because nga nakasulat dun sa aking pcr test was um rna detected hindi naman nakalagay positive eh, no so my doctor said that I'm asymptomatic with um, ano, uh, symptoms of GERD. I have GERD. Eh. So it's so confusing, you know, when you when you have two, um, ano, dalawa'y nararamdaman mo, hindi mo alam which one is which, no? So yun, I, I believe vaccination can help kasi mas naging less yung, siguro mas naging mild or halos, halos wala nga yung symptoms, pero... Alam mo, there's something wrong with your body. I may not have had the typical symptoms of COVID, but I know there's something wrong with my body because I would feel tremors at night. It wakes me up. Kaya nga feeling ko nga si God yung gumigising sa akin at 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, no? Tapos, um, I would have um, heartburns. Yeah, and sometimes still headaches. I, I, sometimes I still have it now. Um Hindi ko alam kung these are still side effects of the, sabi nila may side effects pa rin. Kahit na magaling ka na, hindi ka na contagious, but may mga side effects pa after. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, Sis Malu. Ayan. And we, if uh, if those who are watching us right now have missed um, one of our first few episodes, we have Dr. Jazz who talked about vaccine. So you might want to go and check it out. It was I think second or third episode that we had here at Wise Talk um, to give you an insight of why is it um, wh why the doctors recommend for us to all have the vaccination. Ayan. Sis Malu, um, of course, you you kanina said no, hindi naman talaga natin pwedeng alagaan yung ating mga um, relatives or family members. Niya sila kayang alagaan physically, di ba? Once they when, once they get infected but um how for for with for, from your personal experience how should people care for a person infected with covid virus what do you think po yeah well um i think yan nga ito ngayon yung um i think this is what god is really teaching me to be more compassionate no uh, before when i would listen you know stories when this pandemic started diba 
pag hindi mo kilala yung tao, parang, ha, ah, talaga, may COVID siya. Ganun lang. De, ano lang, it's just like a story lang. Uh, last year, di ba, marami tayong narinig naman nagka-COVID. Pero medyo-medyo malala yung tao, hindi mga directly related to us. But lately, I noticed that parang, wow, Lord, palapit sila ng palapit to the point nga my brother-in-law nga had it, no? So sabi ko, it's, um, it's real na, no? Uh, I think one of the things that the Lord taught me is to have compassion. To have compassion for others, no? We cannot be, ano lang eh, yung... Sometimes we're even, ano eh, gonna say na, I'm praying for you, but are we really praying for that person? No, uh, ako ang style ko is when I pray, when I say I'm gonna pray for you, um, immediately there, kunyari may nag-text na sa akin, please pray for me, I'm COVID positive. I'll stop and I'll pray na right away. Because I, I might forget eh. And dali magsabi na I'll pray for you but you're not praying, di ba? So um, you show sincerity. Um, yung tunay dapat, authentic dapat yung ating uh, pag-show ng compassion to our friends, no? Um, you show care. You be a um, channel of blessing. Ikaw yung parang vessel ni God to, um, you know, to comfort the other person. Phone calls is very important. You know, I because I don't see people. No, so when I see my when I when I when my friends call me or sometimes I call them, I always tell them, turn on mo naman yung yung ano mo yung yung video ka mo, sabi niya, eh, hindi ako nakaayos, hindi ako nakamake-up. Tapos ko, sige na, ako pa yung nagpiplit. Sige na, kasi hindi ako nakakakita ng tao. And that is so important pala. One of the things I realized, no, of course, we know that ang, ang number one need natin is to belong. We wanna be loved, eh, di ba? Yan ang need ng babae, we wanna feel loved, eh. And so, para kung uhaw sa attention, uhaw ako sa makakausap ng tao, no? So, if you are now um, wanting to care for somebody who is COVID patient, you extend that, ano, you get out of that comfort zone and uh, enter into their world, you know, um, kamustahin mo sila, how are you? Or sometimes, you know, if you're able, you know, um, do you have a lot of vitamin C? May zinc ka ba? Gusto mo bang padalan kita? Or things like that. Um, nakakatulog ka ba sa gabi? Kung may melatonin ka ba, gusto mo ganito. Tapos maybe you can just, kung hindi, if you, you cannot, sabihin mo lang, okay, this is where you can buy it. Or, or sige, magtanong ako. Or saan ba magpa-PCR? Even the PCR test, you know. I have friends, you know. Um, they were so, dun, na-bless ako sa mga friends ko because when one of our friends also had COVID, parang agawan pa sila kung sinong unang mag tatawag ng PCR test, kung sino magpapadala doon, sino, you know, everyone was just extending help. And so, I saw this and I said, you know, I, I, God is teaching me, you need to be like that also. For me, number one is prayers. Prayers talaga, be authentic with your prayers. If you can send your prayer mismo, doesn't have to be long, pwedeng short lang naman eh, no? pero at least maramdaman ng pasyente, yung pagmamahal mo, yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon through you. And then, um, call them um, every day, kung pwede, kung malapit sa'yo yung tao, no? Uh, and then even, ano, um, minsan magpadala ka ng mga something funny, you know, mga videos. Minsan, I would get videos ng mga funny videos, mga TikTok, ganyan. Nakaka, ano, nakakalibang din siya. And um, siguro, uh, what I can also tell those mga patients uh, with those who are sick of COVID right now, no? Um, I discovered a lot of things, you know? I discovered na, kasi bored ka sa bahay, di ba? Ikaw lang nag -iisa. So my brother lent me this, um, his uh, keyboard. And I started, you know, singing, uh, not singing. I started playing the keyboard, uh, worship songs, you know? And... Sabi ko, and before that, I would pray, sa ko, Lord, turuan mo ko ha, makuha ko itong song na gusto ko. And then I always just play, ganyan. So, na, nalibang ako that because I was worshipping and I was playing music instruments. I started, again, painting, you know, I went back to painting. And nagano ko, uh, nag-fasting ako ng K-drama. <laughs> and I watched Christian movies, you know, um, mga inspirational movies. And that really helped me. It really helped me. So, um, 
fasting is important, prayer time is important, spend more time with the Lord, read the Bible more, um, connect with people, uh, find out hobbies that you can do at home. Uh, Tuwan-tuwa ako ngayon, dati alam mo, I have plants here, koti lang naman na plants, no? they were given to me as gifts. Dati basta maldiligan ko lang sila, okay na yan. Diba? Abang ngayon, tinititigan ko sila, ah, may bagong leaf na tutubo, no? Unlike before, nagugulat na lang ako, uy, may bagong leaf. Ngayon hindi, inaantay ko na, meron ng tumutubo. So the next day, titignan ko na, tumubo na ba siya, ganyan. No? So I started appreciating the creation of God. You know, sometimes yung, the, um, I go out in the balcony and just start looking at the skies. I go, wow, Lord, yung, the sky, we take it for granted. The air that we breathe, we take it for granted. So I started praising the Lord. Thank you, Lord, that I'm breathing air. It's free. It's not oxygen in the, and I'm not in the hospital, no? So I can still breathe. So I became more grateful. I became more appreciative of friends. I became more, um, I would say, siguro, more uh, dependent on God. E dito ko nakita talagang, you cannot depend pala on anyone. I mean, you, you can only depend siguro for food. You know, your siblings can send you food or friends, no? But when you're inside and you're alone, isolated, there's no one really there to help you. Eh. You can consult doctors, no? Pero parang, minsan even consulting doctors by phone or by teleconsult, parang bitin, alam mo yun, parang hindi siya enough for you. You want to know more, no? Parang sabi ni God, Malu, yung hindi nila kaya ibigay, sa akin mo hanapin. Yung, yung hinahanap mo mga solusyon sa doktor na hindi nila kaya ibigay, sa akin mo hanapin. Yan. Thank you so much, Ms. Malu. I, dun sa mga shenare mo, no, we begin to appreciate the simplest things that we have in life kapag we feel isolated. No? And I like all the tips that you have shared, sabi nga ni Miss Marina, no? nice tip, Sis Malu. And uh, hello, Sis Marina. And we would like to um, say hello also to Alana Kate. And sabi ni Sis, yay to plantita, Malu. Ayan. <laughs> Sis Malu, I, I, I can really relate on that. Kasi parang mas maraming mga tao mas maging interested on plants, no? When COVID hits. Yeah. Na na-appreciate na natin yung mga creation ni Lord, di ba? Even yeah. when, in the first time that we had that lockdown, the first time we had that ECQ, when the sky is cleared, no? When the pollution naging less and less, we begin to appreciate kung yung mga ginawa ni Lord, ang gaganda pala talaga ng ginawa ni Lord. And that is what I am hearing from you, no? Na you begin to want more to be connected to people. Praise God, we have video calls now. No, siguro mas mahirap ang gantong sitwasyon during those time na telephone lang, no? Paano pa kung yung gusto mong tawagan, walang telepono, things like that. So we praise God na ni-ready rin naman talaga tayo ni Lord in the, at these times. And um, before I'll give it to Sis Ronnie, I would like to say hello. We have um, more viewers who are coming in. So let's say hello to Margie Dipon and... Um, we have Alexandra Ramos, Jocelyn Basilan, we have Tolly Amar Nani, and we have uh, Sis Marilu Soriano and Theodora Adtohan. Ayan, marami pa yata, pero I cannot see all your names. So thank you so much for joining us, and we hope that you are getting more and more encouraged, of course. Sis Ronnie, you want to give your next question? Sabi nga ni, sabi nga ni Ms. Soriano Marilu, Marilu, sobrang ganda ng sharing mo, Sis Malu. And I can so relate talaga with all your tips, Ms. Malu. Yung sinabi nyo, in isolation, you're desperate for connection. So kahit simpleng voice message lang, no? It means so much. Pero gusto ko din na lagi nyong bring back sa voice that really matters. And it's His voice, the Lord's voice. Kaya naging loving time niya to with Him, di ba? And then yung sinabi niyo din na marami nagpapapray eh, please pray for ganyan. Pero seryoso ka ba talaga? So sinabi niyo po na when somebody asks for prayers, you pray right then and there because the urgency reflects your authenticity. 
So you pray right then and there, voice message again, send the prayer. Tapos yung last na sinabi nyo, dahil naranasan nyo to, Miss Malu, you've grown to be more compassionate, caring, mas totoo yung pagmamahal sa taong nahihirapan din. And you became more Christ-like. Yeah. So, I'd like to add, no, Ronnie, I'd like to add. Yes. Uh, sometimes din naman, uh, isa rin sa, on the oh, oh, ano naman, extreme, no? When you um, contract COVID, you become also paranoid. Yung, kunyari, my, when my friend told me na, malu ako rin, masama na yung pakiramdam ko, uh, masama sakit na yung lalamunan ko, I have phlegm na, nako, ano ka na, magpa-PCR ka na, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Uh, uh, take it already as, as COVID na yan, ganyan, ganyan, no? Parang, uh, ang danger diyan baka naman mapraning ma you know because uh, ma mahawa sila dun sa yung sa anxiety mo ren di ba so we also have to be very careful then yeah and i'm guilty of that you know i remember my friend when she experienced it pinipilit ko siya mag PCR pinipilit ko siyang go out in the sun ganyan kasi i i, I know eh so i i want her to follow yung ano yung mga steps na gagawin Kaya lang sometimes nga, baka nga na, napapraning imbis na makalma, makalma, baka lalong ma-anxiety. Yes, yeah, so talagang prayer lang no, for wisdom, how to respond, how to respond to those who are desperate for help. Question ko na lang, Ms. Malu, ang dami nyo nang nakwentong tips at experiences. Piling na lang po kayo, ano yung pinaka-highlight sa experience nyo during your three weeks of quarantine? Pick the highlight. I think the pinaka highlight was intimate and I heard him. I heard him. Yung mayat maya niya ako ina assure na I'll be okay, that I'm with you, that, um, you know, even if you're going through that, sinasamahan kita, I'm walking through with you, no? So, um, to hear God speak to us so audibly you know yung um yung manaramdaman may presence niya and i have this favorite spot in my room where i would um um sit in a in a low chair beside my bed parang in a kneeling position na and i would always just you know meet the lord there and um mas mas ano mas mahaba yung prayer ko mas mahaba yung reading time i i always journal i sabi ko i want to I want to journal this, eh. Because, you know, these journals, when I'm gone, I'm going to pass it on to my children, grandchildren, and maybe by the time, hindi na nila alam ano yung pandemic, di ba? So they will have an idea what what went on. It's, it's a legacy that I want to pass on. And I worship. There are times also na, um, sabi ko, Lord, I'll start my day just listening to music and worshiping you. Yun lang, worship lang. Yun talagang maramdaman ko lang yung presence niya. I think that was that was what um, helped me overcome. Eh. Yun yung tumulong sa akin talagang to have peace and to overcome the anxiety. No? I, I mean, sometimes the discomfort, they come and go. Even until now, because I have GERD, no? the discomfort is still there. Pero knowing that he assures me that I'm with you, do not be afraid. No, naririnig ko yun sa kanya lagi eh. And he speaks to me through the through the Bible. So, yun yung ano, parang uh, ang sarap pala Lord ng pagmamahal mo. Dito pala yung ibig sabihin, minsan kasi people may may ask na, paano mo ba nararamdaman ang love ni God? You will never experience God, God's love if you don't read his word. You have to know his character. You you have to hear him speak to you through the word of God. Eh. Kasi yung Bible, yan ang love letter niya sa atin. Eh. So, parang mas naging buhay na buhay yung, yung kanyang mga salita. No? And yan, yung journaling. I enjoy journaling also. Those were the highlights. And also, of course, yung mga plantita nga na dating hindi ko pinapansin. Eh ngayon, malusog na malusog sila. Ang beautiful, Miss Malu, even in the heart of COVID, you rested in Christ's heart. Uh, ang dami nyong nabibless kung isa-isahin pa natin itong mga comments. You found Christ's heart in the heart of COVID. Mm -hmm. Sis Adele? 
Thank you so much, Ms. Malu. Very encouraging yung mga na-share mo sa amin. And of course, I like that the highlight of your experience talaga is having Christ no, with you na kahit na on your, iso- and on your isolation, you're not alone talaga. But Sis Malu, because we are limited with time, um, before we say goodbye to everyone, I would like to ask you, what is your final encouragement maybe or something that you can share to people who are maybe experiencing or um, maybe are sick with COVID right now or who are um, who lost someone and maybe you want to pray with them as well um, Sis Malu yeah okay I want to share um, for, for mga ating mga kawaii stalkers watching right now maybe some of you have COVID or maybe you already had COVID and you're also asking, Lord, why did you allow me, um, you know, to have to have this illness? No, there are three things that I, you know, three things that I learned. First is, you know, God is sovereign. You know, He is sovereign. He is in control over our life and death. Alam niya, uh, even before we were born, He already knew that we were gonna have COVID. He already knows the number of our hairs, di ba? Our number of our years. Alam niya kailan tayo mamamatay, di ba? And I like. The um, I like what Pastor Peter Tanchi said na, um, remember that you are immortal until God's purpose have been accomplished in your life. No, So in other words, ang Panginoon meron siyang purpose para sa ating buhay. Hanggat hindi na uh, nagagampanan yan, eh, immortal ka. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka pa handang kunin. Diba? So, uh, and uh, we have to understand that life is really short. No, We are not to be... Um, attached into this world because this world is just our stopover. Yan yung siguro yung reality na pinapaano. Because I'm already aging. I'm a senior citizen and I always look back and I say, sabi ko, wow, Lord, from this time to this time, that was 20 years ago. So kung 20 years between now and another 20 years, I'll be 80, 81. So baka ano na ako, uh, living this world na. So parang, pero dun ko na-realize na ang ikli pala talaga ng buhay, no? Napaka-ikli ng buhay. And so, we are to live it, you know, um, live, live it to the full. And yung mga, ang mundo sasabihin sa'yo, be happy, you know, drink and be merry, eat, drink and be merry. But that's not what I'm talking about. Eh. We have to um, live our life to the fullest. Ibig sabihin, um, um, let us do what is pleasing to the Lord. Dapat meron tayong um, fear of God. Meron tayong obedience sa Kanya, no? Um, we live for him no we don't live for ourselves no less more of him and less of us no and then um i also i also want you to um you know learn from what i've learned yung to rely on god completely do not rely on other people kasi minsan pag may sakit tayo um, uh, baka magalit tayo sa asawa natin. Asawa ko, ba't di ako naalagaan? Mga anak ko, ba't di ako tinatawagan? O bakit yung, yung mga kapatid ko parang dinedead mo ako? Ba- wag na po tayo mag-isip ng ganun. Let's rely on the Lord because God is there. If you have God, you have everything. ba? So, it's um it's also, when you are sick, it's also an opportunity for God to display His miracles. No, Minsan gusto natin, Lord, kung totoo ka, pakita mo sa akin Kung talagang totoo ka, kung nandiyan ka talaga. And usually, He will be able to display that, reveal Himself to you in times when you are in need, in times when you are sick, when in times when you are in, in times of adversities. No? So, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na, Lord, wag akong magkakasakit ha. Eh, paano natin ma-experience ang miracle ni God kung di tayo magkakasakit, di ba? We are, we want miracles. We want to see, di ba? When we read in the Bible na, wow, yung Yung bulag nakakakita, yung dingin nakakarinig, the lame is able to walk, and even the dead is able to, to you know, to uh, resurrect. So if we want to experience God in that very personal way, these are His ways. Eh. It's through sickness, through financial difficulties, through marital problems, no? Yan po yan eh. So... Um, and the second is, ano, God is gracious. No? Kanina, God is sovereign. Alam niya what's gonna happen to us. And the second is, God is gracious. Um, you know, he, he, when He allows you to go through something, or maybe COVID na, no? um, trust that um, He's there with you. If you're gonna seek Him, kung, kung tayo po ay talagang lalapit sa Kanya, magpapakumbaba, magre-rely sa Kanya, magde-depend sa Kanya, 
then trust that he's gonna be there for you, no? So, and 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 also, it's also a reminder for us na we, we are to be good stewards of our bodies, no? He, God is gracious, but you need to do your part. Kailangan, pangalagaan mo rin. Like now, when I, am COVID, I have COVID, I have to change my diet. Basically, I I stopped eating uh, anything that's oily. I I stopped drinking um, anything na may caffeine or ano tea. Wala wala yan, no juice. Talagang um, sinunod ko yung yung mga sinasabi ng doktor sa akin. No? Kano dapat like for my GERD, I have to avoid mga citrus. I have to avoid mga spicy. You know? So I have to take care of my body. Kasi who else is gonna take care of our body? The, our body was given to us by the Lord, no? And so, it belongs to Him. So, kailangan din natin pangalagaan, no? And then, uh, I also, I understood that yung medicine, di ba? Parang, um, dapat ba akong mag-vaccine? Dapat ba akong uminom ng gamot? I believe that doctors are also given wisdom by God, no? So, sundan din natin ang ating mga doktor. Binigay din ng Panginoon yan. And we've been praying for, for a cure, no? And then, when the vaccination comes, we doubt. Lord, ito ba? Tama ba ito? No? So, um, at the end of the day, when people ask me, did you get vaccine? Ang, ang point ko is ano eh, it, it, there's no moral issue eh. Is it a sin to take, to have my vaccine or not? It's not. So, do I have peace? So, yun ang inan, 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 hiningi ko sa Panginoon. Sabi ko, Lord, if you want me to take this vaccine, can you please give me peace? And so that that was my ano, uh, that was my bargain. I, I had peace, you know. Nakibargain pa ako, sabi ko pa sa Panginoon. Lord, pagpunta ko doon pag maraming tao at walang parking, ibig sabihin it's not for me. Hindi ako makaka-park. Uuwi na ako. Yon. So, pagdating ko doon, binigyan ako kaagad ng parking. So, you know, I I was really uh, seeking the Lord every step of the way. So, ganyan po kayo every every decision that you make. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Get confirmation from him. You know, and then um, I also um, I also uh, uh, I I also believe that God sends people to us to make Himself known to you. So yun yung mga taong sumusulat sa you, nagdetect sa you, tumatawag sa you, nagpapadal sa you, pagkain. Those are God's instruments to to show that He cares for you. So that's yun yung way niya to show that He's very gracious, no? So, yun nga, parang he sends raven, human ravens to us to feed us. No? And yan, dahil dito nga, we are drawn closer to the Lord. And then lastly is God heals. You know, uh, seeing you see you seeing me today here, and I can smile, and I believe, you know, sabi nga nila, parang di ka nagkasakit. Eh, paano? Tumama yung kain ko. Walang mga junk food. Walang puyat. Hindi ako, uh, you know, I stopped eating mga food that is not good for me no so i think it you know it radiates also when you're eating right feeling ko nagradiate sa skin ko pumuti ako kasi nakakulong sa bahay di ba so god heals no and he says in ano um jeremiah 17:14 no um this i would pray also i would also i would always ask the lord to pray uh, to heal me so it says heal heal me o lord and i will be healed save me and i will be saved for you are the one I praise. No, I never stop praising the Lord. And I said, Lord, in good or in bad times, in sickness and health, parang sa mag-asawa, di ba? No? Di ba pag kinakasal ganyan? Sabi ko, I will always praise you. I will no longer question you. I will keep on thanking you despite all these things that, you know, that has happened to me. So yan yung tatlong na, na, na ano ko. And I just claim God's promises. You know, he, he also promised us na, ano, uh, again, ulitin ko lang yung Psalm 23 verse 4. He says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Claim nyo lang po yan. The Lord will walk through with you and you will not fear because he is with you. Sis Edel? Uh, yeah, by the way, yeah, before I, before I, before I turn it to you, if you are watching right now, and maybe you are sick of COVID or maybe you're already experiencing the symptoms or maybe you're having problems with your marriage or financial difficulty, you lost your job, whatever it is that you're going through right now, I believe that it's not an accident that you are watching right now. 
because God has a message for you. And he says that, you know, he's been nudging you. He's using this um, trials in your life to catch, to get your attention. So he wants to tell you that he loves you. And, and the Bible tells us, you know, that the only way for us to build that relationship with God is only through his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So lahat ng prayers natin dapat, it's through Jesus Christ. And he is the one who died for you. He is the one who, who, for, who you know, who, who is the she middleman between us and the Father. She yung uh, propi- propitiator between us and, and the Father. No, So um, kailangan natin um, bigkasin sa ating bibig. You know, confess with our with our mouth that He is our Lord and our Savior. So we what the first step that we need to do really, mga kawai stalkers, have you totally surrendered your life to Jesus Christ? Do you believe that He is your Lord and your Savior? That He will heal you? That He will be with you? That He will walk through with you? That He can save you? And so, kung kayo po ay nahihirapan ngayon, and you are tired. And you're, you know, cast, Jesus said, cast your burdens upon me. And so if you're ready to surrender your life to Jesus right now, and you want your sins to be forgiven, and you want to be healed, you want to have financial freedom, you want to have um, marriage restored, seek Jesus. He's the only one who can help you. So pray with me. Just pray with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for speaking to me today. I know it's not an accident that I heard your message and you're really speaking to me. I am so tired, Lord, of my problems, of my sickness or financial difficulty or marital problems, Lord. Father, I just want to surrender it to you. I believe, Jesus, that you are God. You and the Father and the Holy Spirit are one that you are the only way, the truth, and the life, that I cannot go to heaven except through you. And so, Jesus, I now open my heart and invite you to come into my life and receive you as my Lord and my Savior. And from this day on, Lord, I want to follow you. I want you to reveal yourself to me more. Lord, paramdam niyo po sa akin yung pagmamahal niyo in the same way that, malu, that, that you know, that Malu felt your love, your care. Paramdam niyo po sa akin, Lord, yung peace in the midst of these trials, in the midst of this pandemic. Help me overcome the anxiety, Lord. I want to love you, and I want to feel loved by you, Lord. So here I am, Lord. I am yours, and you are mine. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And then, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Malu. Sobrang inspiring. Thank you for sharing with us your COVID journey and how COVID drew you near to Christ. Mga kawai stalkers, hindi natin masisigurong we will never get COVID. So should you become COVID positive, wag naman sana. Pray to be life positive, mind positive, heart positive. And just like Sister Malu, let us remember the acronym COVID. C-O-V-I-D. Christ, our victory in darkness. COVID, our victory in darkness, in depression, in despair. In a situation of lack, may Jesus come through as our source of supply. And in situations of sickness, may we realize that he is our ultimate healer. Psalm chapter 73, verse 26 says, My mind and my body may grow weak, but God is my strength. He is all I ever need. And that's it for today for Wai Stock. Ako po si Ronnie Gutierrez, ang inyong Kawai Stalker. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Sis Malu. And maraming maraming salamat sa pagbahagi mo sa amin ng lahat ng natutunan mo in your journey of having COVID. We had a very, very good discussion today, Sis Ronnie. Thank you for joining me as well. And I'm truly blessed with all the sharing by Sis Malu today, I am sure maraming nakaka-relate sa mga pinagdaanan ni Sis Malu who are also infected or who are maybe presently in the hospital right now. We hope that you get encouraged 
by what the Lord had taught Sis Malu. And of course, we thank God for using her to speak to us about that need that we have for Jesus in COVID and all in overcoming all those fears and anxiety. So we thank you so much, Ms. Malu, and thank you, mga kawaii stalkers, for joining us. If you enjoyed our episode today, panoorin niyo rin po yung iba pa namin mga episodes at siguradong marami kayong mapupulot na aral, wisdom, o kaalaman. So hanggang sa muli, let's talk with the four others. Bye! Wow, ang galing.